afternoon, everybody. What a lovely way to spend a Saturday afternoon, right? Um, so we're, we're very happy with the bond that the judge said. I think it's fair and reasonable given the allegations. We hope that uh, Mr. Kelly's able to get the money together and post bond sometime today or over the weekend and he'll be released. Uh, we're going to see the chief judge on Monday. For those of you who are from out of town, uh, the way cases work here is you go to bond court, then the case is assigned to the chief judge, which is actually the room just over there. And he then assigns the case to a trial courtroom upstairs in this building in our courthouse, uh, which was actually built for Al Capone um, when he was charged years ago. Uh, in any event, so we'll get our judge on Monday. Uh, after we get assigned to a judge, we'll get what they call discovery, copies of police reports, uh, video if it exists, lab reports and so forth. It might happen Monday. Sometimes it takes a, a little while to get that stuff. Sometimes it takes a long time to get that information. And then we'll be in a better position to evaluate the evidence. Uh, you know, right now he's presumed innocent. Um, we haven't seen anything, any reason to believe that these allegations are credible. I heard about them, I heard about sort of the narrative of them for the first time today, the same time all of you did. And uh, I can tell you that in listening to it, there certainly are problems with the cases. Uh, one lady coming forward a you know, decade plus later claiming she had non-consensual sex, no outcry, nothing like that, and the things we look for in these cases. But we'll wait and see what the evidence is. We'll evaluate the evidence. We're putting together a team of attorneys to defend him. One of them is camera shy. Steve Fine, he's in the back over there, uh, and uh, and we'll start fighting the charges. Steve, do you have any reason to believe that he doesn't, will not be able to come up with $100,000? You know, when I first met Mr. Kelly, it was because there have been problems. This is, a, this is someone who should be wealthy at this stage of his career. And through mismanagement and through people uh, hangers on and, and and bad contracts and bad deals and bad leases like he had in his studio. He really doesn't have any money at this point. I don't even think he owns the rights to, I believe I could fly. And so you think that he'll be able to come up with the money for bond? Yes, yes, I think he'll be able to come up with the money for bond. It's Saturday, it's a little bit difficult. You've got to get a bank, you've got to get $100,000, uh, but hopefully he gets out today. Some people are working on that. Now, we don't have for the out of town media, you're one of, uh, for the out-town media, we don't have bail bondsmen in Illinois. In Illinois, they got rid of bail bondsmen back in the 60s. Uh, everyone can guess why they did that. So here, a bond is set. So the judge set bond at a million dollars. And he knows when he sets that, that Mr. Kelly has to post 10% of that amount. So essentially, it's a $100,000 bond, which is exceedingly reasonable given these allegations. So you're saying, despite our Kelly's name, he doesn't have a He's trying to get it together. He doesn't have it sitting in the bank, sitting in a shoebox, sitting anywhere. No. Mr. Greenberg, uh, I reported Thursday for the New Yorker. There is a sitting grand jury in the Southern District that is issuing subpoenas. A 25 member Homeland Security. Are you the Task former Force. record guy? I'm the one you ignore. My name is Jim Deaver, guys. Okay. I, uh, uh, there's, a, there's a 25 member squad in Homeland Security investigating violations of the Mann Act and sex trafficking. And I hear Paul Howard is about to have a press conference soon about indictments in Atlanta. All of these people talking to all these investigators, they're all liars. I just want to make sure I got that right because that's what you've been saying. I am not aware of any federal grand juries that are looking into Mr. Kelly. Uh, federal grand jury investigations are supposed to be secret. So was this. So, well, <laughs> it was supposed to be secret. So you've got better sources than I have. I'm not aware of anything in Atlanta. If they make allegations, we'll address the allegations. You know, he's presumed innocent. He's entitled to that presumption, not to be tried in the media, to have his day in court. So you don't know anything about any other investigations? I'm unaware of any other investigations. I haven't been contacted by any prosecutors from any jurisdiction anywhere. I haven't been contacted by any attorneys saying that they're representing a witness who's received a grand jury subpoena, anything like that. I can tell you your name later. Steve, you it's part of your strategy that this is well, certainly we know one of the allegations apparently involves the same alleged victim as the earlier case. I wasn't involved 
in the earlier case. We're going to take a look at that. We're going to have to make a determination. Is it the same incident? Is it a different incident? It's not just a question of is it the same tape or is it a different tape? It's a little bit deeper than that. We'll look at the evidence. We'll evaluate it and we'll make that determination. I have not seen that tape. Uh, I only know what you guys know about it. Are you going to argue that it was not cons uh, consensual or that it just didn't happen? I'm not sure exactly what our defenses are going to be. Each case is different. There's four different factual, scen scenario, factual scenarios. Uh, we're going to look. You at said they were all liars yesterday, so I mean, that would indicate it didn't happen. Well, you look this way, and you look this way with your answer. Sure. Okay. So you want to repeat your question? So yesterday you called the accusers liars, so that would indicate that the events did not happen. No, that wouldn't necessarily indicate events didn't happen. That would indicate that they weren't criminals. So, for instance, uh, we heard today about some lady who says and that uh, that he went there for a haircut and forced her to give him oral sex. That may have been a consensual encounter. I don't know. I haven't seen the evidence. On it. That's that's why that's why we don't. That's why well, in the, that's why. Fourteen. It can't be consensual. Well, that's why the I haven't seen any evidence of any. 14 year old victim. There's an allegation of a 14 year old victim. I haven't seen any evidence of it. So that's why that's why we have a process. That's why we have a charge and we have a prosecutor, we have a defense attorney, we have a judge and we have a jury. And we look at the evidence and we figure out what we're going to do. And that's what that's what we do. Is he going to be here on Monday? If he, let's say, he has to be at every court date. So he will when you meet with the yeah, He has to be at every single court date. Including yes. Monday. Yes. Yeah, Monday is a very important day because who your judge is is one of the most important things that happens in your case. Is That's his frame of mind. I mean, th these are far broader charges than he faced for the 2002 uh, arrest. You have four alleged victims here. You heard some of the detail in court. They're pretty damning stuff. The docuseries is out there. I mean, he's been dogged by this kind of stuff for almost 20 years. What's his mood? Well, now I mean, he's obviously, he's going to face some felonies here. He, he's he's upset. It's it's obviously more difficult because there's four separate cases, and last time there was only one case. But each case is different, and uh, and we'll address them as they come along. But he's you know he's devastated. Here is someone who who at one point was a huge star, and and now he's sitting behind bars. Even if it's just for a day, he's got these accusations. He's not going to be able to tour, um, and and people unfortunately. You know, there's this, this whole hashtag movement. Just because someone says something now and it's 2019, it doesn't make them credible. And and just because they said something now and they haven't said something in a long time, it doesn't necessarily make them incredible. We have to look at the evidence. We have to look at what happened. I know on, on one of the cases, there, there are a number of interviews where the young lady says, I lied about how old I was. I lied to him about how old I was. And then recently said, oh, no, I lied about lying about how old he was. We'll no, have to no, look she at showed it. him the ID, the Greenberg. fake ID, then showed him the real ID. Don't misquote a victim, Mr. Greenberg. Don't misquote a victim. That's not what she said. Well, she initially lied to him. Then she showed him a state ID. She was here today. Did you see her in tears while the charges were read? So, so you have a book coming out. And yeah, it's I got facts so. in it. I hope you sell lots of books. I don't give a fuck about selling a single book. I've talked to that woman, and I've talked to 47 others. What else others. is your question? I'm not Mr. Avenatti, and I'm not you. Okay, so let's try and keep it professional, I mean, and no, don't, you just and don't the swear at me. You cried in court a liar. You just well, just because they cry doesn't make them truthful. And so we're going to look at the evidence, okay? We'll look at the evidence. I'm correct in we'll, what you said. We'll look she at the evidence. When let's she keep lied. it. She let's when watch. She let's truth. watch the swearing. Okay. I I'm sorry. You're upset. His behavior as being legal or not criminal. Would you also defend his character? What do you have to say about R. Kelly's character? Well, if these allegations are proven to not be true, and these were consensual encounters, the the certainly the encounters on some of the charges, then you know we shouldn't be second guessing someone's sex life. I mean, frankly, there's been a lot of a lot of talk about how he has these. Uh, hostages in his house. They were here in court today, these two young ladies. They were they were with him yesterday walking in front of the media. The police have been by to see them. Uh, the police have interviewed them. They interviewed them in Atlanta. They interviewed them in Chicago. 
They didn't say there were hostages at all, but people keep saying these people are hostages. We're going to wait. We're going to see what the evidence is. He's entitled to a presumption of innocence. We'll evaluate all the evidence. I'm sure we'll have some conversations with the prosecutors, and then we'll, we'll figure out what we're going to do. I can't tell you today what our defense is going to be, what we're going to do, what's going to happen on any case. It may be that two of the cases resolve themselves and two of the cases go to trial. It might be all four go to trial. It might be the all four resolve themselves. There, there's too many moving parts to be able to say anything one way or the other. Is his character part of his defense? And if so, how would you Well, character, character is not, in, Il in Illinois, you can't introduce character evidence except for truthfulness. So, uh, for instance, to take an example of someone who's on trial for bank robbery, and if they have three prior bank robberies, you can't say, well, his character is he's a bank robber. You know, he's done it before. So you can't say that. So his character is really not an issue here. Uh, a jury's not going to hear about his character. They're going to hear about the facts of the case. They're going to hear the evidence, and they're going to evaluate it. He has to. He has to attend each and every court day. That's an absolute requirement. See, how was his night in jail? Did he sit with general population? Were there any incidents? No, I, I want to say, and, and I don't know if I've ever said this before, I want to compliment the Chicago Police Department for the way they treated him last night. They were very professional. Uh, the Sheriff's Office has been great. Um, obviously, they have concerns if something happens to him while he's in custody. It would be a problem for them. Uh, but they held him separately in a separate cell, and then they took him back after court today. Okay? One more question. Are you aware whether it's the gang cooperation, whether the victim on the videotape is cooperating with prosecutors? If she is the victim from the 2008 trial, she's not helping with the prosecutors. I would assume that who's ever on the tape or whoever they think is on the tape, someone is saying it's them on the tape, or they wouldn't bring those charges. I think that's a fair assumption. I know from the earlier trial that the alleged young lady and her parents all testified under oath that it was not her on the tape. I heard what you, I heard what you heard, heard so I, I I heard what I heard. Do you expect our credit to part Kelly to find out before Monday's hearing? I hope so. How do you respond to the DNA evidence? Well, the DNA evidence is uh, on the 2009-2010 allegations. Um, they didn't say that there was positive DNA. They're, they're in the process of doing the testing. The only other DNA evidence was from the young lady who claimed that she performed oral sex on him. She was an adult at the time, and she said nothing, as far as I can tell, about that encounter until very recently, although it was some 15 or 20 years ago. Steve, if R. Kelly doesn't have $100,000 to bond out, bail out of jail, how is he paying you? What arrangements are you guys making? That's none of your business. Oh, really? Pro bono, maybe? Last okay. night, just a brief review call for the wires. After hearing what you heard today, they have another video evidence. Do you still stick to that as a defense that they are lying? Did he force them to have sex? Yes. He did not force anyone to have sex. He doesn't have, he's a, he's a, he's a rock star. He doesn't have to have non-consensual sex. He's, he's a, he's a music. And it's an accusation. So we're going to look at the evidence and we're going to see where it takes us. Okay? Everyone have a nice day. Thank you.